Next on News Be Funny, Lubbock Lemur Day, National Toy Hall of Fame, Original Mongolian Barbecue, all of this and more, starting now. We hope you wake up with us tomorrow for 6 News This Morning because we're ditching the studio and we're going live. Oh, <laughs> I'd say Buttercup is the perfect spooky season. Whoa, kitty! <laughs> no, come back! As a serious forecaster committed to the idea of serious weather, this is a forecast in a flash that Aaron Perlman is not going to forget. And then uh, look at the rest of the county. We're going to be in the 70s uh, for these locations, 80s uh, elsewhere. And I just dawned on me. No one's told me this, but I think the Ridgecrest area is going to burn to death. 922 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> it's been there all morning, and I, I do apologize if, if you don't make it out of today. Uh, it was just a forecast. <laughs> it was never, never meant to kill you. Uh, we'll take a look at what the real story is in ten minutes. And then fifty percent off. Fifty uh, percent off. What did I say? Fifty percent off. What? Fifty percent chance for rain <laughs> as we get into uh, the early part of Sunday. Meanwhile, back in Williamsburg County, Randolph White is explaining exactly what he heard on a Sunday afternoon. I was in the, uh, in the bathroom taking a shave, and I heard a, a screeching, saw that between a screech and a whistle. I said, what in the world is this? And I heard a boom. Then my whole house shook. The press thought came to me. I said, well, this must be to the meteorite coming out of space or something. And I said, well, if the airplane, it needed to be reported, but the thing was flying just too low. So yesterday evening, I said, the helicopters, I'm not out here walking. And choppers keep flying around. I said, well, somebody must, have, somebody must have robbed a banker, killed some people or whatever. So I walked up there. They told me it was about, about the plane. Becky, I love Doc's Beach House. I laid eyes on it, fell in love, and then I laid my tongue on it. Can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in a break between breaking news, anchor Angie Wynn has time to catch up with today's new notebook. This t-shirt right here, Yes. tell us more about that and I'll hang on to this little guy. <laughs> <laughs> These are our, um, our t-shirts and we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for um, helping us out with these t-shirts. This is a memorial t-shirt for one of our lemurs that we had for 23 years. Okay. And um, we are selling them for $25. All of the proceeds go towards uh, Ringtail Ranch, here, and we are in the process of trying to open our facility in its entirety so we can have field trips and uh, larger events out there. <laughs> <laughs> trying to act like nothing's happening back here. This is what we do with our kids when they're little, too. We talk to our friends and we just act like nothing's going on. Right. I'm trying to feed you a fruit snack at this point. Do you want to take it? No, I thought you could give it to him. <laughs> In your health headlines this morning, the Food and Drug Administration has approved no new COVID-19 <laughs> boosters. I'm okay. Hey, okay. Um, all right. Down in the French Quarter, it's becoming increasingly clear to meteorologist Alexa Trischler that she's having a bad day. We are starting with your marine forecast, and I just walked into the wall. <laughs> Sorry if you just heard that. Yeah, it looks like we have a small chance for a couple of spotty showers today and tomorrow, though rain chances are not that impressive. <laughs> but we have seas around one foot, so the seas will be smooth and the lakes will be smooth as well. So the marine forecast is good. It's good. <laughs> All right, it is Friday. And of course, clearly the week has gotten to us, but thankfully we're heading into the weekend. That left lane is still blocked along the spillway for that construction taking place. And look, I'm laughing, but it's going to happen to me next. I know a car is going to get us. All right, so the right lane is only passable on that eastbound side of I-10 between Loyola and Williams still because of that construction taking place. All right, and then no problems currently across the causeway. We're still in the clear. <laughs> Leslie, just take over. Or ask Andrew. Andrew taking all of your weather-related questions at home and answering them with his excellent expertise. Andrew? Hi there, David. Good little <laughs> sneak over. By 1 o'clock, presenter Luxmi Gopal is already taking part in presenting because that is what she's doing today.
Hello and welcome. I'm Lakshmi Gopal. History uncovered in a cave near the Dead Sea. That's coming oh. up next. And whoa! <laughs> <Here's>... <laughs> Hello. Hi, everybody. Mm. I think I just got whiplash. Yeah, a little bit. Everybody's right okay. Here. Shells here. I'm no. here, and we're here for a look at what's going uh. on live. Time. <laughs> it's another day, and anchor Shelly Muniz is taking colleague Roxanne Vargas through some of the finalists for the National Toy Hall of Fame. Twelve finalists, baseball cards, battleship, bingo, bop it, cabbage patch, kids, connect four. Are, are these not in there already? That's how, fascinating. How is connect four and bop it not already in there? And I can see patch? why bop it is not on there, actually. I, no, I, I just, still have my bop it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. More unpacking we have to do with Roxy, but it's okay. <laughs> it's a great, it's a great workout. Oh gosh! Hey, look, it's a Ken doll. Ken. Oh, that's what that was the whole point of the whole story. Yeah, okay. Ken, Ken doll. Yes. <laughs> Ken made it there as well. Move over, Barbie. All right, fans. Uh, you can vote on your favorite from now until Wednesday on the Strong National Museum of Plays website, which houses the Hall of Fame. Again, bop it. Let's get Wait, there. Did you just say Bop It is the, a great workout? <laughs> you got, you got, you got, no, you're thinking, you're thinking of Skip It. <laughs> okay, Ryan, I <laughs> just realized it. Bop It is, the, okay, we're gonna do some more research. Oh Maybe God. we should talk about this tomorrow. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry about that. You have anything to tell us about the weather, Grace? <laughs> okay, take a look at this evening by 7 p.m. <laughs> Back in Detroit, anchor Dina Centifanti is explaining what she means to Marielle and Ryan. And then you... <laughs> What's he saying? Nothing, I'm not saying anything. Oh. You've been doing I it, find yeah. this very intriguing because the, using... Uh, it's a simple thing, using your left hand to brush your teeth. Very um, simple. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't have anything to say. <laughs> All right. But, um, and as you say, Elle, the first time it's kind of hard. And then the second time, <laughs> it's, e <laughs> it's easier. Anyway, it that's like get anything. Here. It does, do, yeah. If you want to do push-ups, right. do one push-up today. Else. And then tomorrow do two. And then the next day do thing. four. Yeah. Eight, 16. How do you brush your teeth? I brush my teeth uh, with my dominant hand. Are you going to try with your left? <laughs> I mean, I could. <laughs> I could, but I'm not going to. Why? Well, Why? I don't know. Can you do me a favor? Can yes. you, and I will send you the early, t can you just try it tomorrow? You will be shocked at how difficult it I is. I will give it a shot tonight when I brush my teeth. Very how nice. That? Yeah, tonight, okay. brush your teeth with okay. your non-dominant hand. That's don't forget do. now. I will not forget. Okay. I always brush my teeth. Um, well, not that part. <laughs> don't forget to use your left hand. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Okay, here's the question. <laughs> Ryan starts laughing and makes us all laugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Labor Day. That's the question. <laughs> Most Americans. Sorry, That's all right, Lena. Hi. Uh -huh. <laughs> 446 now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the team effort. The team effort to make sure those heads are randomly seen. Uh, well, uh, we will uh, now uh, send things over to the other camera, to uh, Marcus Bailey, who's uh, tracking some cooler. <laughs> <laughs> We're just doing some laughs. Trying to stay warm. Oh, yeah, I know. This yeah, that's all you're doing. Man. By 9 o'clock, anchor Larry Potash has hit his stride in his presentation towards whatever it is that's going to happen next. It feels like we should call the obscenity police, but this guy is just making the original <laughs> Mongolian there we go. barbecue. All right. Ooh, where's he oh, putting that? It's called Korkog. It's a uh, lamb or a goat Larry. stew with potatoes what? and vegetables. What Larry, I gotta tell you, I'm proud of you right now. Yeah, well, this is what it is. Yeah, yeah. look at that boy. Well, we need some culture on this show. Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. What? I don't know what I'm looking at. 
That was almost like a plug he was putting in there. Yeah. yeah. Can we freeze? What do you know? I want a better look at this thing because I don't understand what was going I on. I don't either. Is it yeah. possible yeah, we to re rack that? Yeah, we really should. It's cooked should. in a sheep's stomach if you're wondering what that was. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's okay. what a sheep's stomach what? looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> oh. Oh. See, that's what I'm saying. You can get one of those in a store around here, I think, too. Wow, they'll blow over there. You got one of those at Lover's Lane, they can. <laughs> wow. yeah. well, he's getting a little he's getting a little familiar with that yeah. sheep yeah. stomach. It's just not right. Oh. It's like he's had experience with one. Oh, who's That's... in the mood for Mongolian barbecue? Yeah, it wasn't before, but now I'm yeah. <laughs> right here. So. I am. <laughs> oh god, all right, back oh, yeah. here. What, what, are there I'm gonna tell you. I, Yes, I'm so proud of it. Yeah, yeah there are yeah. Mongolian barbecues in Chicago. Yeah, there we used can... to be a, yeah. a chain, didn't yeah. there? We could um, go for a group outing, Robin. You can stay home. <laughs> it would just be a man's trip. Yeah, yeah there's a few here. Yeah. They, yeah. I wonder if they have the old sheep stomach. Uh, I don't know. So. They have a lot of jiggle. we got to yeah. go by and take, take a <laughs> yeah. look at that. I'm going to do it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stand away from you for a second there, friend. Okay, you're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> you can book a stay at the farm on Airbnb or they're hosting llama llama with yoga. Hi! You wanna be in it? Let's do it again. Wanna do it again? <laughs> I'm gonna do one more of each and then we'll be good. Oh my over here. <laughs> yeah. Fun events where you can hang out with llamas. <laughs> you didn't make your hit. Or <laughs> scooch over this way? Yeah? Cool. You can book a stay at the farm on Airbnb or <laughs> you can check out yoga with llamas. Back in Los Angeles, morning weatherman Mark Kriske has had an issue on his mind and it hasn't gone away. I feel like you had a question. I probably wrong question for the wrong expert. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, and no. mine's more of a technical issue. Yeah, kind of that's me. not. I mean, him. I'm good with oh, tech. Okay, okay, do it, do okay. It. My beef, and it's been like this okay. for years, and finally, I've been really. It's Tan's fault. What? <laughs> Tan's fault. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my beef is no with caulking. Uh -huh. You go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. Mm -hmm. You got the five-year caulk. You got the ten-year caulk. You got the lifetime <laughs> caulk, and it breaks we, down within yeah. one and year. Why is that? Yeah. Just F Hulk? Just an L. Hulk. Hulk. There's an L There's in a, yeah. it. Hulk. Hulk, oh. not cock. I don't know. Good morning, Bobby, LA. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> My point is, Hulk. it never lasts as long as it's promised. <laughs> it, they never, they never do. They yeah. never do. <laughs> <laughs> Red, our poor guest, we have made him uncomfortable. You're hilarious. As, as you say, five year and the ten year, your eyes are like going, what? They say five years, they say ten years, uh. and it's like what, 30 seconds. Okay. One more question. One more question before we're all fired. I'm um, done. I'm we, done. Do we have a green room picture? We were going to get your take on our green room. Because you know, we have all these celebrities come in our green room. I feel like our green room is kind of boring. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, what would you do oh, with oh, this? Goodness. This is help. awful. Uh, yeah. The wait, gallery had a sale. Is like, that where it, wait, <laughs> you know what? I have to say, it looks way worse on camera than it does in person. Okay. Blue light actually maybe is good for a green room How because was the it caulk? is more energizing. Was the caulk good? The caulking, I think it was going to last. Okay, all right. Yeah. Bobby, you are the best. Thank you so uh, much for joining us. I don't want to go to Home Depot with Mark. <laughs> That's bad news. I know everyone thinks, hey, maybe next month we'll get better. Well, at least not September. Not yet. First week of the end weekend of September. Oh, goodness. Bye.